Hi, this is Anna from JustPaint.com. I'm going to be demoing another clown face since they seem to be quite popular. People are asking me for more and more clown faces. Um, I'm going to be using Diamond Effects White and Diamond Effects Teal, and, or Sea Green, and Diamond Effects Metallic Purple um, to do the design and a little metallic fuchsia for the cheeks. But um, anyhow. Just for the base, I'm going to put down white paint. And with the Diamond Effects paint, you want to do it, the base pretty quick and do one area and then pat it nice and smooth. And then just keep moving on to another area and patting around. And you want to fill in all these cracks around the eyes and the nose, the nostrils, so that there's not any skin showing. The water to your sponge. Just get the edge of the sponge in the water. You don't want to put too much because then you're going to have drippy paint. So I just tap it into the tip, the top of the water, and then add more paint. So if you're having a hard time getting the white to show up, you probably need to Add a little bit more water and really load your sponge. All right, I'm gonna while my paint's still a little wet, I'm gonna take a little bit of the metallic red and just get it right on the same sponge that I used. And I test the back of my hand to make sure it's not too dark. And I'm just gonna pat, pat some lightly on my cheekbone. All right. And then I'm going to use teal and a round brush, it's kind of a fat round brush, like a thick. And I'm going to load it up. Oops, I've got a little purple in there. Now for the lines, I'm going to try to follow the lines of the face. I'm going to make two lines going up this way. They kind of look like the inside of butterfly wings if you put butterfly around the face, and then this side I'm going to follow my cheekbone. So these are going to be the two main lines for the eyes of the face. Let's start at the crack of the eye, and just kind of pull in to the side of the face here, and then pull back out. So I'm going up, and then I pull in, and then I pull back out. This is not a traditional American style clown face. It's got a little wildness to it, too. There's so many clowns that all look the same, so I'm trying to come up with some different ideas for clown faces. And I'm just going to underline the eyes. And now I'm taking a flat brush. This is a super nice flat brush. And if you just put a little water on the brush, you can put your finger in the water and then rub your finger on the brush. And just rubbing the brush on a wet finger, it makes it a little bit damp. And if you catch it fast enough, you can go through and grab the edge of the blue and pull it into the white makeup. And try to pull it in the same direction, like going this way, not going this way, then going this way, and everything. Just pull it all in the same direction. I'm kind of going with the arch of my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to wet my finger again, get my brush wet, and pull it out again. If it's not coming at all, either you didn't put the blue line on thick enough so that you don't have a lot of paint to blend, or um, you can add some extra blue to the, this brush but make sure it's kind of dry. Sea green looks like a blue to me. This is called sea green. Um, and I'm going to add a little there. And then around the cheeks, I'm going to go pull on the inside of the cheek. Now I added some sea green to my brush. While I'm talking about that, I'm just going to mm, fade it out with my finger. Now I got a lot of blue on here.
You don't want to put down too much water, otherwise you're going to pull the white off your face with the water. So, you want to work with really damp brush. Okay. Next, I decided to take some metallic violet as my third color. So, I'm kind of in a violet and sea green and white mood this month. Um, and then I'm just going to put some fun little teardrops around here. So for a teardrop, you push down your brush, and then you slide it, and you pull it up so that the tip just drags and makes a thin line. You can push down the whole brush, slide it, and drag it so the tip is just touching. And then push it down, slide it, and drag it. So I've got three little funky lines there. And I'm kind of starting above my eyebrow and working around to the crack of my eye. So it's like an angle, and it comes around. So I'm working with the shape of my face again. Kind of going, going, going. Okay. We got that. Um, if you want, you can put little polka dots coming, big ones. And then it gets smaller to accent the eye. And then I've done this before with some stronger purple eyeliner coming down here. Not sure if I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to give myself a purple lip. And check both sides of the lip to make sure that you've painted all the way around. And then if you I'm going to put little tiny tips. These are those little mouth extensions. Little happy ones, make your mouth a little wider. wider. And then I'm just going to put some of that metallic red on the tip of my nose. Here. Here. Alright. And One last thing I, you can do, you don't have to, is just go outside the teal and outline it again with violet on the outer edge so it looks like it goes from violet to teal to blend out light teal. That makes it just a little harder with the darker lines, so it's just kind of a watery violet. I don't have it super concentrated. <sighs> If you're feeling really, really silly, the last thing you can do is add freckles. But you don't have to. Should I add freckles, America? America? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add some little freckles. Now I just become silly clown. Man, I was so dramatic and beautiful, and now I look goofy. So that's what happens when you add freckles. You can also put a little pink on the bottom of your chin or up on your forehead or, oh, that was a little wet, um, to add, oh, whoa, that's called super pink dots on the top and bottom of my head. Um, so that looks all right. <laughs> I'm just going to fade it out with some white. I just threw some white on my sponge and we'll, we'll soften that up a little bit. But now I have more colors in my face instantly. Um, remember, you can get your paints at JustPaint.com. You can check out my blog. I've got some step-by-step -step stuff on there and information about body painting and face painting. It's somewhere on this link, AnnaWolinski.wordpress.com. And I'm going to make an announcement soon about where I'm going to be teaching a face painting class at in September. So that's going to be really wild. Talk to you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.